Shout out to the Pond Diddly crew. Shout out to the shout out to the shout out to the Pond Diddly crew. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Shout out to the Pond Diddly crew. There we go. There we go. Well, hello there. <clears throat> so, welcome. As you may know, I just got back from VidCon, which is pretty flippin' exciting. Also, shout out to that little, like, comment. That was not my video. That was Gabe. Um, he, because he had the, uh, the community pass, he was able to go, excuse me, to the signings and everything. So he got Hank Green to say that. Yeah. I know, I know. For the record, guys, my internet didn't go out. It's just that freaking delay. I keep forgetting about that. So I start at 8, my time, and then it takes a little bit to actually go out to YouTube and then start streaming. So sorry about that. I had a candle that was lit. And that didn't need to be lit. So I have a few photos that I'm not going to be able to show on the... Um, on the vlogs. By the way, I just released the second vlog, so let me ask you though, which style do you prefer of the vlogs? Do you prefer basically the first day or the second day? Because they're edited very differently. And I want to know what you like, because one of them is definitely easier than the other. But I think on the other hand, I don't know. I don't even know. But that's none of my business. Also, I officially, I went all official with the ponytail. Yep, it's a thing now. Grace, you just missed it. You just missed it, man. Or ma'am, woman. Hey, Jewel. Hey, Chris. Um, it was amazing. So I pulled up some photos, and I just, I'm going to show them at you now. Show at them to you now. There we go. Let me do a thing real quick. And by that I mean, pull this up, let me see if I can do, wait for it, this, wait, wait, I'll cotton pick a minute, there it is, except that's the wrong side, oh well, I'll just scooch over here. So, I figured I would show you a few photos from this. Also, can we have a way to have the comments be on here? Because I love it when we have the comments on the screen. So, will you give me just one second to get that all setified? Subregion, let me select the comments. This is all this, whoop. Oh, where'd you go? And I can't even, like, show you what I'm doing, because it won't let me do that. Hey, Anna's here. What's up, Anna? There we go. There we go. Let's just bring that to right about there. Nah, not beautiful, but it works. You know what? It works. Okay, so with that being said, let me show you some of these photos and videos from my phone. Um, so I, I got up at 4 a.m. the first day because I wanted to make sure I was staying with my grandparents who live like two hours away with traffic. So, excuse me, it started at 8 a.m. and I wanted to be there on time, so I figured we'd leave at 6 a.m. So I got up at 4 a.m. to get all ready and everything. Hey, Burrito Shake, you're new here. Can you please give me a small explanation on who you are and what you do? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe what it is I do. I do things. Kimmy, I'm glad you're here because yes, I'm going to show that photo. I actually, okay, Kimmy, my, this is my friend, I just gotta say, this is gonna sound really creepy, really creepy, but I had a dream that you were in last night, and I was actually, my dream was that I was at, back at VidCon, and I uh, was talking with John Green, and I asked him if he knew um, a, a Kimmy that makes peg dolls, and he goes, oh yeah, I remember her, so that was a fun little fact. Chris, why didn't you film your meeting MatPat? 
I actually did, kind of. I was in the middle of a time lapse. So you know the shot where um, I said hey to Devin and Supertramp? Like, in a little bit later, I ran into MatPat. But you can't really see it on camera because there was somebody standing right in front of us. So I just said, well, I guess I'm not putting that part in. So I apologize about that. Um, so yes, anyway, let's get into the photos because I know you don't care about me talking. Let's see this. Oh, okay, so... Let me just, oh, uh, Pedro says, Chris, it surprised me so much to learn that John Carlin watches your channel. What was your reaction? I mean, I've talked with him a little bit on Twitter in the past, and he mentioned, like, he's seen my, a few of my videos, so I wasn't as much surprised. I was kind of like, oh, that's really cool. So I, I want to just, like, talk with him and Ben again, and I'm going to in a little bit. I'll explain about that in a little bit. Anyway, so... This is, we were just driving around LA, first and foremost. This is the day before VidCon, actually. And this Chick-fil-A, I thought it was on fire. It was just pumping out the smoke to get people, it was pulling a Burger King. It was just pumping out the smoke. I can't believe that's legal. Oh yeah, and that's me and my grandmother, and we're being photobombed by an incredibly creepy painting. Um, okay, I think these are in order. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so... This is the first panel that I went to. There's Charlie McDonald and Tessa Violet. I didn't really got, get to talk to either of them at VidCon. I mentioned to Tessa that, um, like, because my, my friend Mia knows her. So I mentioned Mia to her, but, like, that was basically the extent of what I said. Hey, my friend Mia says hi. Um, and that was at a concert thing, so she couldn't really hear me. Anyways, that was a thing. Okay, let's go. So this was the, the Patreon lounge had this little, like, photo booth set up with a ring light, and I had a bit of fun with that. And actually, you saw the behind the scenes of this on the vlog, and, um, the, well, actually, one of the guys that was, like, one of the Patreon guys staff walked over to me and said, dude, I think you used every prop there. You get, you know, you get mad props, pun intended. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. I'm rocking the 80s hair right there. In the 80s! In the 80s. Anyway, so this is it. This was the Anaheim Convention Center. That was a security guard guy that happened to be like, I don't know, my eye was first drawn to him when I first saw this photo. Anyway, it was really cool. Advertisements for all these things were everywhere, and it was amazing. It was really just cool to see a bunch of... You need to do a collab with John Carlin, none of your friends. Hey, I mean, got to come up with something to do, but that'd be a lot of fun. Yep, so that's me in front of the building. Um, okay, so a lot of the time, I would I spent time lapsing, as you saw in the uh, vlogs, and this is me on like the stairwell. Obviously, look at that shot. Look at that beauty. Um, I'm a genius, by the way, and had my microphone off for a significant num amount of the vlogs. That's why there's no sound on a lot of them, to be honest. It yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, okay. If we can figure out, listen to this. If we can collectively, let's figure out. I need to be like that. Collectively, let's figure out what a collab would be, what you'd want to see. After we do that, then let's like tweet at them trying to figure out what to do. But not until we have a definite plan, okay? A definite video idea. Um. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. So in the um. Yep. You saw that, right? In the uh, community panel, I guess it's Instagram, I don't know, some, there was this really cool, weird design, and this, this sculpture, structure thing, I don't know, a thing that was there, so a lot of people are hanging around that. Also, I ran into Dodie. Uh, I actually, this is when I ran into uh, Evan, which you can see in the vlog, excuse me, excuse me again, this is actually the second time I talked to them, um, fun fact, the first time, um, my microphone was off, so I didn't record any of that. <clears throat> Second time, I, uh, I I started to feel like I was starting to creep uh, Evan out, but thankfully Dodie walked over to me. It was like, you know, as you saw in the vlog, hi, I'm Dodie. And so I, I started talking with her a little bit and was like, hey, you know, I really like your stuff. And I, I turned off the camera, but we had a nice little conversation. I don't remember what we talked about too much. Um, but I actually walked away, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'll, you know, see you later. She goes, okay, see you later. And then I was like, wait a minute, I need to get a selfie of this. So I walked back to her after I'd already said goodbye. I was like, hey, 
by the way. So, but yeah, she was really nice. I want to just like, you know, she seemed like a genuine person. And then there was Devin Graham. <laughs> who was just like an awesome guy. Um, oh, uh, Sophia says, did you make any real bad puns there? I have a story to tell about that with Evan Edger, but I'll wait till I show the selfie with him. So, I, I started talking with him a little bit. Um, it's, you saw in the vlog, and he was just like a really cool dude, and I kept bumping into him. And so that was like just a lot of fun. And yes, I ran into Matt Pat, and had a little had a little conversation with him. There were like a bunch of people, so in like a circle, so it wasn't like a one on one. But I was like, hey, I really like your stuff, and you seem to like really love what you're doing. And he was like, well, thank you. I can't do his voice. I can't do his voice. Um, but yeah. So and he was wearing his infamous red jacket. And I, I, I knew that I had to get a selfie with him. I didn't even as much think about, like, you know, I guess, getting a selfie with him as much as just, ooh, this will make Andrew so jealous. So, I'm a jerk. Uh, and then I met up with Gabe, um, who I honestly kind of like his stuff, but he's wearing a pun diddly shirt. What? So, if you don't know who he is, you should. Weird Name Productions. I'll, I guess, I'll, yeah. Um, but, so we hung out for most of the day together. And it was a lot of fun. Because he was just a really cool guy. Um, and also, they had a Hello Internet flag. Now, I love the Hello Internet podcast. And I honestly did not expect to see that. And Gray was there. The CGP Gray. But the problem is, like... He has never shown his face. I was able to do some Googling and found a photo of him, so I knew what he looked like, but I didn't see him there. So I didn't run into him, which is a bummer. But it was actually funny because he posted on... I was heading down from the creator uh, story, and then he posted a photo of him at the creator story. And I, I literally just turned right around. I was like, okay, I'm going to say hi. And I didn't see him. He abandoned me. Um... But yeah, there's. Uh, I went to a Q&A with Dean Daw, uh, 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 Jack Howard, and Dean walked in and was kind of sitting in the back. And afterwards, I was just kind of, um, you know, I, w I, I said hey to Jack, but I, I was just like talking with Dean about how he lights his stuff. And as you saw in the vlog, I put a little segment in, the, the part that made me laugh the hardest. But we, we talked about lighting because, you know, that's because I'm me. Um, and... He was just like a really cool, chill dude. So, I like... Dean's one of my favorite YouTubers to BH. And... <laughs> okay, so Hazel was there at Jack's uh, Q&A thing. Which, by the way, was super chill. Like, he wasn't on the podium or anything. He was just kind of walking up and down. Like, yeah, I was just kind of, you know... When we'd ask a question, he'd go right, like, next to us. And, like, you know, we'd just, like, talk. And it was great. Anyway, um... So, Hazel was behind me. And every time that Jack said something, she would, like, repeat it in a slightly mocking tone. Like, you know, he'd say, oh, well, I had a lot of fun with that. And she'd go, oh, he had so much fun with that. That's what he says. That was an awful, we're going to pretend that that talk didn't. Like, that was an awful English accent. And that was not even a woman, an attempt at a woman's voice. Anyway, and she was, like, cussing every five seconds. And it was hilarious because I had the mic on. I recorded the entire Q&A thing. And afterwards, like... She had come by, past me and said, Oh, were you recording? Because I saw the microphone, and I was like, Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone's gonna know how much of a potty mouth I am. And it was just, like, the funniest thing. I was like, well, they're not gonna be su Your fans aren't gonna be surprised, are they? She goes, I guess that's true. It was just the greatest thing. So she was a really funny, fun person. It was kind of cool just to see these people that I only ever... S I don't know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a fangirl. I idolize these people. Why am I such a YouTube fanboy? Oh, probably because I live in a place where there is no YouTube culture at all. And so when I like see anything YouTube, I'm like, ah! um, Jack Howard related to me. You know, I don't know because my great my great grandparents immigrated here from England, so that would be a wild little coinky dink. Um, but, like, you know, I look over and, th again, this is going to sound really creepy, but, like, she had her feet on the seat right next to me, 
and I glanced over and saw like, you know, her toenail polish, I guess, toe polish was all messed up and it was like, yeah, you're a normal person. Uh, Fedora King, hey, were you there? There was somebody named Fedora something, I'm trying to remember their VidCon that I talked to for a little bit. Anyway, um, so then Evan had a Q&A panel, which I was front and center, which you can see if you watch his vlog. Oh yeah, I made it into an Evan NJ travel vlog, my life is complete. Anyway, and during the panel, there were a bunch of empty cups, and he just stacked them. And was like, Evan, why, why you, why, why, what? So that was a thing. And afterwards, I got a photo with him. Okay, I'm pretty sure I creeped him out, because I, I am a really big fan of him. So everything he did, I like got a front row seat to, and I r like ran into him, quote unquote. No, I totally stalked him a few different times, like twice. And like I'm pretty sure he was like um, eh, a little bit creep. I I I could just kind of got a vibe that he was a bit creeped out by me. And so after I took this photo, this really pains me to say, but I consciously did not. Like, I, if I saw him walking around, I would, like, turn around and walk the other way. Because I want to... I want to one day become friends with him. So we don't want to ruin that. So it was... Ugh, it burned me! But it was worth it in the end. I hope I'm not too loud. I just realized the gain's a bit high on this mic. There we go. That may be a bit better. Better. But yeah. So I kind of scared Evan Edinger off. Lovely. Also, Luke Cutforth was there. And he was, um, so this is at the end of the first day, and he was just kind of walking around outside, and, I, like, it was just me and someone else noticed him. Oh, I just realized, is that the same, is that a 70 day, me, 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 um, so, we started chatting, and then, like, there was, uh, you know, a group of people that started, that came around, <laughs> and the security officer, because we were, like, it wasn't anything formal. Like, it was just, like, the three of us talking, and then more and more people just kind of started gathering around. We did that right in the middle of a walkway. Um, so, <laughs> the security guard said, okay, everybody needs to move to, like, a non-walkway place. Go right over there. So the entire group started moving, and I kind of walked away from the group. I hadn't got, you know, I, I was like, well, I guess I'm done. I was like, wait a minute. I need to get a selfie. So while everyone's moving, I kind of, he's kind of at the front of the line. I just walk up to him and say, hey, can I get a selfie? He goes, sure, man. And so click, and then I walk away. So this is, I, I kind of cheated because everyone was like, a, a line started to form to take selfies. And then that line was moving. And I just walked to the front and was like, hey, can I get a selfie? Sure. So I'm a total jerk, but you know what they were moving? Also, Baja Fresh. I remember eating there when I was a little kid. And I, I was walking down to, um, I was, oh yeah, much better sound. Yay, sorry about that. I don't, I can't hear myself when I'm talking, so I don't know how it sounds. Um, <laughs> we both creeped out Evan now. Exactly, Luke, exactly. So I was walking down to, there was a little concert thing going on, and I passed by Tim Schmoyer, and I was like, hey, I know you, and I used to have a fan that um knew him personally, like went over to his house all the time. And I was... <laughs> I, was, I, I could I tried to tell him that and I totally blanked on the guy on the guy's name and even now I can't remember so I was like hey I uh, I know someone that you're good friends with he goes oh yeah well, you know who is that and I was like crap and now I sound like you know Ugh. but yeah he was really cool and so we had a little discussion about you know the, by the way did I ever tell you about when I first ran into Olin? Because if not, I'm going to record a video about that right after this. Pundit Olin Rogers follows a Punditly memes page, which is just freaking crazy. Ugh! Okay, I'll tell you this story because I want to tell the story of how I met it, ran into Olin. Because I think I've told that before on a live stream, but it's never been recorded that I can recall. And so I'm going to make a video right after this live stream sharing it. But basically what happened was... Okay, here's the story. It was me. This is the uh, first time I ever went to Nashville, right? Second time? I don't know. Yeah, second time. It was me, first time. Me, Andrew, Missy, and Missy's sister were all in the car. We were driving down to the soda parlor, and we passed by the soda... You know what? Here, hang on. 
There we go. So we pass by the uh, the the soda parlor, and Missy all of a sudden go points at someone walking down down on the sidewalk. Goes, oh my gosh, that's Olin. Keep in mind, we're in the middle of a road. Thankfully, there was no one behind us, so she just slams on the brakes, and we go. We like jolt forward, and she goes, get out, get out, run, run, run. I'll go find a place to park. And uh, I'm like, uh, I, like, I don't. Can we do that? This is like a, a road. Can we run across? You know, the we were on the wrong side of the road, for the record. Not the wrong side of the road, but we were, you know, uh, we'd have to cross another lane. And I was like, I, I don't think we like. This is definitely illegal. What we're doing. Andrew was already out of the car and running towards him. He's like, well, I guess, okay, let's go. So I join him. I get out of the car. I wish I was, I wish I videoed this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe I didn't video this. But yeah, so we rush out of the car and then the three of us kind of swarm him as Missy goes to try and find a place to park. And then we just stand there in silence. I just stand there in silence. And it was the most awkward thing. It was so awkward. But we were like, hi. He's like, oh, hey, guys. Hey, what's up? And I was like, hi. I'm Chris. I'm a really, uh, I'm a fan. I'm a really fan, a big fan. Uh, I, I really like your stuff. Keep in mind, at this point, I was, I was still binging on his videos. Like, I just heard about him like earlier that month and so I was still I didn't watch all I haven't watched all of his videos so he referenced one of them and I was like ha, uh, uh, no 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 it was um he talked about uh 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 not final space what was it oh my gosh I'm totally blanking the one where it's like him and his friend playing a video game I'm sure it's gonna pop up uh, in the comments it's partly recorded yeah but I didn't get the actual getting out of the car sorry but thank you hope that's a, you have a, like, professional setup, or profile photo. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so he referenced, uh, but he was still, it was the one, yeah, where he, it's like he and his friend are, and Jake are playing a video game. Anyway, so he, 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 like, mentioned that, and I was like, haha, I don't know what you're talking about. And it was like, oh. And it was just the most crazy thing. I literally, at one point, I turned to Andrew and said, haha. Talk, Andrew, because this is really awkward. Uh, and he like he was like, well, I get. <laughs> okay, so he literally said after it, I think it was like about five straight minutes of just awkward cringe because I have all this on cam or most of the awkwardness on camera, um, but just not going out to meet him. I didn't put it in the vlogs. I should have put it in the vlog. Just. Me, at the time when I was editing the vlogs, didn't want to look bad, so I was like, no, why would I keep this in? This is cringy and embarrassing, and now it's like my, the time that I talked to Olin! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, he remembers me. That's a thing. Okay, moving on. There we go. Moving on. So this was, afterwards, there was a little concert by, uh, what's his name? Jake something, the sweatshirt guy. That was actually my first time I've ever listened to the sweatshirt song, fun fact. And then Mike Tompkins came up, and he was doing his do, uh, uh, what's the song? The, uh, Don't Let Me Down, that one. Do, 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 I don't know, something like that. But, uh, that was a whole lot of fun. I didn't get too much video from that, but... I should have. Okay, this also is Twin Sauce. These guys I ran into, and after watching some of their videos, they're like daily vloggers. They're really, really cool. And I was saying one of their daily vlogs. I also I made up my Lions Blaze. Thank you, thank you, Ed. You a rock. Yes, Lions Blaze. Um. Anyway, so they're really cool. I tried to photobomb as many people's vlogs as possible. So if you just like search. VidCon 2016, you may see a few that I just kind of pop in. I'm like, oh, so I was a jerk. Um, oh, and he gave a panel with, okay, I don't remember his name. If you know him, please let me know. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Jeremy, by the way. I just saw your comment. Um, he gave a panel with Evan, and he was just like the coolest guy there. He told some really good stories. He was just like the, the chillest guy, the guy that... 
He was awesome. And afterwards, I, w I was like, you know what, you know, he's obviously he's really big because he was on a panel. I didn't know him. But um, that night, I was passing by where all the food was because I was going to like the main stage to get, to get a shot. And he was sitting down and I was like, hey man, I really enjoyed your stuff, you know, what you said on the panel. He goes, oh, thanks. He was sitting with a few other people. And I was like, okay, well, I'll get out of your hair now. And he was like, oh, no, you can, you know, come on down, sit down, sit down with me. So then he just like, ah, it was so cool. I was just like eating. Well, I wasn't eating anything, but I was just like, you know, sitting there and chatting with this guy as he was eating dinner. And he was just like a really chill dude. And that's what I loved about this was that like everybody was there to have a good time. I honestly went into it expecting like, you know, the creators would be performing for the fans, you know, that entire time. And no, it was like everybody came there to have a good time. You just pass by and see Luke cut forth, you know, eating lunch just by himself. Or, wow, that sounded really sad. But, you know, like at a table, not surrounded by hundreds of, you know, stalker fans, which I really like for, for the most part. Like everybody was really chill about having the creators, you know, live their normal lives. And it was wonderful. Oh, thank you, Mom. Love you, too. So... Connor, yes, Connor something. Connor something. Uh, if someone can tell me his... Ah, uh, because I want to look him up. Anyway, so that was really cool. Oh, yeah, and then I ran into a... It wasn't Connor Franta, unfortunately. That'd be hilarious. Uh, I ran into a, a Jamie Costa, and I told him about uh, Kevin McCreary, as you saw in the vlog. And, yeah... Oh yeah, and then I also ran into Nathan Zed a few times. But you've seen every time that happened in the vlogs. Um, I think joining Chris at VidCon would be extraordinarily fun and yet so horrifying. Well, gee, thank you. Oh, hey, Tori. Connor Manning. Yes. A con thank you. Thank you. That was his name. I'm going to write that down. And then I'm going to Google him later. Thank you so much, Ed. Ed is just like the coolest guy in this. Shout out to Ed. Ed Pelling, you is the bomb, man. But let me check out your channel. Or I guess I'll have to watch it in a little bit, but I like your uh, your cover photo. Excuse me. Anyway, I'll uh, check that out in a little bit. But yeah, so I came, ran into Nathan Zed a few times. Um, okay, so Kimmy, if you're still here, this is what I was talking about. The, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Esther Foundation. Uh, the star won't go out. That's what it was. <clears throat> um, their booth, my friend Kimmy is friends with the mother of Esther. So they were selling her little peg dolls of Esther there. And so I was like, oh, oh that's, that's uh, Esther's mom right there. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. My friend is here. So like with her business cards. And it was just like the coolest. Ah! So, yeah, shout out to Kimmy. I've, I've talked about her Etsy shop before, but yeah. Uh, and I got a, of course, I got a selfie with the Carlins again, because I ran into them again. Did you meet Rhett and Link? No, I didn't. They weren't there for whatever reason. Frizzle, frazzle. Um, that, it's actually kind of funny that you say that, though, because I know a few people that, like, were friends with them. Like, outside of all the YouTube stuff, like, before they started, they, they were just, like, family friends. Um, and, like, I have a friend that goes to, uh, the church that, like, they came from, like, Red's mom. Um, let's see. So, yeah. But, yeah, if y'all can help me come up with some kind of collab we could do, that would be wonderful. And I also ran into him. Um, I forgot his name, Nick P. something, but I mentioned that I really liked his Aladdin one he did, because I, I really did, and he was like, oh, thanks, man. So, you know, that was really cool. And anytime, this star won't go out. Yep, thank you. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then I ran into um, <clears throat> Mystery Guitar Man, as you saw this photo on Instagram. And dude, what the heck? But he was really chill. And I mentioned I really liked his uh, construction dubstep. And he said, wow, that took a lot of work to do. Kimmy, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you that. I'll text you that photo in a little bit. Enunciation, blah, blah, blah. Me, my, mo, moo. Also, here's, like, the second day I ran into Matt Pat. Well, it, he had, like, a group of people around him. But, um, 
he <clears throat> he was talking, and I didn't get a selfie this time, but I got this really creepy creeper photo, like, you know, from the waist. Um, but that's... Where does he get his epic jackets? Because he has epic jackets. Um, but yeah, so I also got him in a really... Eh. But yeah, I, I one of the things that I love about MatPat is just how he just sounds so enthusiastic about what he's talking about. So, you can tell he really loves to do this. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So, I ran into these guys. I did not know much about their channel. I, they're, there's three guys, so their channel name is The Tryhards. I think there's three guys. There were only two that I saw. But I was like, oh, that's kind of a clever name. So, just yesterday, I decided to google you know their their name holy cow these guys are amazing they did one about a pillow fight that's so insane and i wish i talked to them more and oh my gosh i want to like be their friends because they're amazing and awesome and i love their stuff so much i'm like their number one fan now so tryhards google them t-r-i-h-a-r-d-s i may get some of their merch so oh yeah and i also uh I also kind of ran into, <laughs> you know, just, just ran into the odd ones out. No. Okay, so he was doing a meetup, and... What? My phone keeps buzzing. And... Okay. Anyway, so, I, you know, uh, 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 James... Uh, yeah, James had... Not that James, a different James. Had, like, tweeted me a video from this James saying he was doing a meetup at 2.30 in this day. And I was like, oh, cool. I, I found out where it was. And I was just like waiting. Okay, so where's the meetup going to be? When's he going to be here? And then there was this like group of people that we were all looking for him and could not find him. And he was with a bunch of other of his friends, but I didn't recognize him. And also, I didn't recognize him very much because he's only been in like, he's only shown his face in like one or two videos and only for like a second. So I didn't really know who to look for. But someone said, look for a Captain Sparkle shirt, like, jokingly. And then guess what he was wearing? He was wearing a Captain Sparkle shirt. So, this line, oh my gosh. I felt kind of bad because, like, they really took the time to, like, talk with each person individually. And out of nowhere, the line went from, like, three or four people to, like, stretching all the way at least around, there was like a, where the building bent, all the way around the bend, we, we, you know, I couldn't see the end. I was like, I, I said to him as I was leaving, good luck, man. He's like, haha, thanks. Because he only recently has his, like, subscriber base got <sighs> shot up. Oh yeah, and I also ran into, or not really ran into, I stood in line for a minute to see uh, Aaron Doe, because he was there at the Vine booth. And he was really cool. So I only had like a minute to chat with him, but then I actually... After, like, the next person walked up to talk with him, um, I was talking to his girlfriend. I was like, does this, like, seem really strange? And she was like, I mean, I'm kind of used to it, but it's, it's definitely, she was like, I, it doesn't, it's not weird. There we go. But it's definitely, like, still strange. Like, when we're, you know, in our normal lives, he's not a celebrity. So, yeah. Okay, please do that. <laughs> so then Evan did a Q&A panel. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so, I am so angry with myself. Evan was doing a Q&A panel, and he said, like, technical questions are welcome. So there was so many questions I wanted to ask him. He called on me first, and I could have asked him many things. I could have asked him where he gets his music for his daily vlogs, or I could have asked him... What, like, why does he use the microphone setup that he does instead of a separate? Or I could have asked him about why he shines his softboxes directly at his face instead of bouncing them off a wall like all of his friends. But I'm guessing the answer to that would have been his glasses. Or a million other questions I have for him. And at the, on the moment that he called me, I froze. And I freaking asked a question that I've already asked him on Patreon, and he already responded to! Ah! Oh my gosh. So I asked him, like, what, 
I still can't believe I said this. I still can't believe I said this. I asked him when he's using a G7X to vlog. I found that when I use it, the audio quality is unacceptable for me. Does he do anything with his audio? And he said no, basically. I mean, he went into a much longer answer than that. But I already knew that! Why did that question come out of my mouth? Ah! That was my one chance and I blew it! I blew it because then I didn't... I consciously tried to avoid him for the rest of... Ah! Uh, Priscilla, does anyone know Katie Grigoire? Yeah, she's awesome. If she comes to next year's VidCon, I honestly, legitimately want it to be a thing where, like, her, Adler, Luke, and I get together, and we just kind of chill and hang out. That'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, yeah, so I was, that was Evan's Q&A, and I was getting some footage. I videoed the entire thing, because I'm a creepy stalker fan. Oh, and afterwards, <clears throat> there was, like, a little cue to talk with him, which, for the record... For all the, if there are any security people watching, was an unofficial thing. It was not part of the panel. It was afterwards. It was just like his personal, like he just happened to be there. But um, someone went to go take a selfie, and then someone else saw that and went to go take one, and then everybody said, "Hey, this would make a great photo." And I was, I was supposed to send this photo to all of them, and I totally forgot until this very moment. So I may do that after live streams and then record that video about meeting Olin for the first time if I still have some semblance of a voice. But yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, so afterwards, there was a little, like, creator. <laughs> Chris is so relatable tonight. Gotta be hashtag relatable for the kiddos. There was a little creator party and there was a lot of dancing. And you saw the vlog about that. Um, so later that night, there was a... Wait. What was this? Yes, uh, this was, um, this was, uh, what's his name? Craig Benzine <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. was there, um, and he was giving a little concert with his band, Driftless Pony Club, and I was, like, creepily, <laughs> basically, I was, like, happened to be standing next to Devin, and so I got that really creepy photo of him taking a Snapchat, but I was, like, just kind of jamming out with him. Wait, 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 do I not have a video of it? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, so if you follow me on Snapchat, Snapchat! I, I, I got a Snapchat with him. Oh, sorry. And I say that because right about here, I actually lost my balance and ran into him. So I put significant amount of weight on him right there and didn't even realize it. But shout out to his shirt. So he was just a really chill dude. And I just like want to talk with him. Was Nate Wants to Battle there? I don't know who that is, so maybe. I just didn't recognize him. But yeah, that was me walking home. Day three. This is footage stuff stories that have not been released yet. It won't be released until tomorrow night. But I actually didn't get too much video footage in the morning so some of the stories i'm telling here you're not going to see in the vlog well hello there you decided to join me did you um so yeah i met matthias and i asked him how he live streams from his dslr which like okay i kind of technically know how to do that now thanks to luke with his wedding but he has a completely different setup he has like an hdmi is that the demon dog or the other one this is this is the demon dog yeah um you hate Demon Dog? But Demon Dog loves you, Kimmy. Demon Dog loves you. If you don't know the context, um, when my friend Kimmy came over to record that video, our puppy right there was like freaked out by her. So, hence Demon Dog. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so he has like an HDMI recorder into his computer. So he literally just plugs his DSLR through an HDMI cable into the HDMI in on his computer and just records straight to the editing program so he doesn't need to import or anything. And he can also just live stream directly from his DSLR. Hashtag goals. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. Oh, oh, Ed, you filmed with him? Oh, I'm so jelly. Dude, Ed, you're awesome. Seriously, Ed, you've earned yourself a, I'm gonna subscribe to you and check out your stuff. So that day there was um, Jack, uh, Jack Douglas was doing a panel about trying to make like a viral video 
Like, that was what they tried to do. They tried to make a video, and it's going to be up on his channel. I actually don't know his name. Um, but I want to see if that video is up yet. <clears throat> you can't... Oh, my gosh! I'm a freaking idiot! <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't even think to look to... I switch this back to this oh my gosh I'm sorry how many photos have you seen have you seen this the selfie one have you seen I think have you seen that that was what I was talking about the creepy photo oh my gosh I'm an idiot so but that yeah that was me with Matthias anyway so yeah <laughs> gosh I'm an idiot I'm sorry but uh, that was Jack and they did a um some kind of like I don't know exactly what the video was about, but they both drank like a bunch of milk and then spat it in each other's faces. And I got, so that was after the fact. And uh, can we just take a moment real quick and admire how cinematic that looks with him? You got that under lighting, that rim light, epic. Um, and then we hung out with uh, uh, Jubilee and her brother. And that was a lot of fun. So um, yeah, <laughs> she's like a member of the PD crew. And we just kind of hung out for like a few hours and didn't really do too much. We went over to the hotel that was right there, the Marriott, which is still in VidCon like property, I guess, right? Maybe? No, actually, no, it wasn't. Anyway, so yeah, that was, she like wasn't going to VidCon. She just happens to live semi nearby. Uh, but yeah, so that was a whole lot of fun. Would this photo look better like that? Yeah, maybe. I hold my photo, my phone when I take a selfie at a really weird angle that it's hard to, ah. Anyway, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, and then afterwards, we, oh, and I, so for the record, I, what time is it? 8.45, I was supposed to get the third vlog done today. And I am only about three hours into the day <laughs> because I just can't, I don't know why, it's just not working out as well. It's. The editing isn't flowing as smoothly as it normally does, um, which is kind of a bummer. I can't quite figure out why. Either I'm not in the zone or just the video and music, honestly, don't go together really well. Like, I really like the music I've selected, but I didn't get a lot of footage in the beginning of the day. So, hmm. Anyway, there's me time-lapsing. <laughs> and trash cans, by the way, so much of my time lapses were filmed on trash cans. They're super convenient, and that lady is judging me like crazy, but nah. Um, so yeah, that was, also that guy's, yeah. Don't, don't drink, kids. Got a shot of him doing that. Uh, get it, I got a shot. Uh, okay, bad time. Um, anyway, so there was this guy walking around. It wasn't Tomska, if you're wondering. I don't think he's seen that video though, because I kept asking him, hey man, do you love it? And he goes, uh, yeah, I, I do. Like he didn't, he didn't do that. So I'm kind of disappointed, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then at the, um, so this is the final night of VidCon. There was like the, the, the VidCon prom, they called it, which is really just like an epic dance party. But, <laughs> so there was this lady, her right there, this older lady who was like just going for it. She was whipping, she was dabbing, all those cool oh those cool moves the kids are into nowadays um and so they literally called her on stage and she was the prom queen and that was the prom queen king of that night so they got the the awkward prom photo okay tell me he does not look like the love child of charlie mcdonald and adler davidson i'm gonna send that to adler and say that <laughs> So yeah, I had to get a photo of him. And that's all the photos I have from VidCon. Oh, I have a, a quick little video. Oh, this is a, like 10 seconds of um, when uh, uh, Mike Tompkins was doing his, his thing. So 
so yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'm just seeing if there are any videos that I missed. Nope. Oh, yes, there is one more. This is the last day Tomska was there, and I knew that Andrew would be jealous, so I had him do this, basically. Hey, Andrew, it's Tom Hay. That's the hair is why you on, so what's up with that? I guess I have to give you a virtual high five. Go for but yeah, I talked with Tom Scott quite a lot, actually, during VidCon. Um, just kind of chill-wise, and it was a lot of fun. He's just a really cool dude. So if I run into him again, I'll be sure to say hey and catch up on old times. There we go. So those were my photos from VidCon, which was a whole lot of fun. I'm just making sure... Okay, yeah, um, after, if you're wondering, after VidCon, we went, um, where am I, there we go, we went to uh, Disneyland, but that'll be in the vlog on my second channel, my, my travel channel, uh, Chris Howard Travel. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Priscilla, is Chris a Christian? Mm, kind of messianic Judaism? <laughs> so you know you know eh. um so yeah you guys should make a uh a pundidly crew instagram chat so yeah if you have any questions about it now is the time you know what to do go wild um and in the meantime well that's my knee i've been eating because i didn't have dinner so, chips, chip it up. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up probably in about 10 minutes. I'm sorry, for the record, for not vlogging earlier. <laughs> so, like, when I was supposed to on the trip. Um, let's see. When was I supposed to? I was, well, I was supposed to do it on the 20th, but then I, uh... Uh, did you run into Julian Smith? Nope, I didn't see him at all. Unfortunately. But if I did, I would have mentioned the, my friends, the Musgroves. Anyway, so the, the 20th, um, yeah, so then to make up for it, I tried to do it the 27th, and that's when that was, I don't remember why. Oh, yeah, I couldn't because we were at Disneyland then. Um, so I should have live-streamed this tomorrow night, but because that's 4th of July, I don't think anyone's going to watch that. Did you meet Dodie? Yes, I did. Um... Afterwards, you can watch this live stream. It'll be on my second channel, uh, Chris Howard, and I'll, I'll, I'll somehow. If you go to, uh, I guess I'll put it in the description in a little bit. But um, yeah, I usually upload these live streams to there. So the next time we do one of these live streams will be Monday, July 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okie Loki, I love it. And I guess I will see you then and there. What's the big announcement you wanted to tell us the last live stream that never happened? I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Honestly, it may have just been that I was going to VidCon because that last live stream was forever ago. But meh, 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 meh. <clears throat> Priscilla, no, you're not ruining everything at all. At all. Uh, let me... Can I turn the gain? Whoa. There we go. Okay, that should be a lot better. Oh, mom. <clears throat> That's my mom's Instagram, if you were wondering. Am I black mixed? I don't even know what my ethnicity is. Uh, if, what is one thing you'd love to do or do differently in the future for VidCons? Not freak out as much. I fangirled the entire time this time because everything was so new and it was crazy seeing these people. Next time, I want to be a lot more cool. It's like, hey man, you know, you want to go catch... Like, I'll go catch a meal with the Carlin brothers next time, maybe. Or something like that, you know? It's really chill. Um, what is... Also, I want Adler to be there, man. Adler and Katie, we've decided... Like, Adler, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. What are you doing for the 4th of July? I think we're going down to a little, uh... I don't even know what we're doing. I think going to a little park where there's 
gonna be a fire. I don't know. We're we're doing something. I'm not sure. Have you been to Nigeria? Uh, Niagara, <laughs> Nigeria Falls. <laughs> well, that happened. Um, have you been to Niagara Falls? No, I haven't. Jimmy said, "Chris, check your phone." Oh my gosh, I got a lot of, a lot of notifications. Hold up. Hang on. No, cancel. Okay, let's look at all these notifications. Hi. So, so yeah. Uh, but Kimmy, what, what? I'm just scanning through all of these to look for Kimmy's. Because she said that uh, she wants me to see something. And what is it, Kimmy? I don't see anything from you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, oh, here we go. Facebook Messenger. Um, you said it was going to be... Oh! I said it was going to be a hard to swallow live stream. Oh! Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Next live stream. Okay, I'm basically... I'm going to be eating a bunch of foods that I hate on, on live stream. If you want me to do that, that'll be a lot of fun. Show the Stormtrooper pillow. Okay, I normally actually put it here on my chair whenever I'm not here. Mwah. So, here it is. But yeah, okay. So, my friend Kimmy wants me to show you this. This is a, for the record, Kimmy, this is adorable and I'll take 20. No, just kidding, but I, if possible, I would definitely not say no to purchasing one. It's a pun diddly peg doll. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. I love it with the black v-neck. That's just, that's just adorable. Um, why was the live stream going to be hard? Because, yeah, I, I already actually said it. Does he have a man bun? Nope. I, my hair is at a very awkward stage, so I'm just kind of pulling it back right now. <laughs> oh, mom. I love you, mom. I love you, mom. Um, let's see. Anything else on Facebook? The PD Inner Circle, which is the Facebook. Yeah, maybe the only... Okay, guys. Um, the whole thing about the, the PD inner, inner Circle, I feel like Inner Circle's already kind of been taken. The, the name. Well, I feel like the Facebook, the Pun Diddly Crew, would be a better name for that page. So I don't know if you maybe want to change it to the Pun Diddly Crew. I just feel like that would make a lot more sense before someone makes another Pun Diddly Crew Facebook page. Um, let's see. Well, y'all are talking about how I'm not very tan. <laughs> and I have to agree with you. Um, also, I'm just... Oh, well, thank you, Danielle. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of emojis. I'm also, like, I, I, I stay inside a lot and I edit. <laughs> um, you remind me so much of Michael Jackson with your hair like that. Thank you? For the record, Riley, I know that you just farted. Because I can smell it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. That really reeks, by the way, boy. Thank you for that. Um, how does one high school? I was homeschooled through it, so I don't have any tips for like a public high school. Sorry. Everything that you're freaking out about now, you can ignore later, basically. But yeah. Um... If you want, that's that's an adorable peg doll, and I don't know what Kimmy is going to, if she's going to make those available to purchase or not, I don't know. But if she is, uh, was it, scrambled pegs on Etsy. <coughs> Gotta get that spawn, or not spawn, but, um, do you have a Snapchat? Yes, I do. With the most cringy name! Oh my gosh. So I'm one of those people that has a username that I like set up when I was like 12 and have just kind of been using ever since. And I want to change. I, I just recently changed it. Thank goodness. I'm changing everything over to at Pundidly. But are you ready for this? Are you ready for my Snapchat name? Chris Howard 007. Oof. <laughs> and you can't change it. You can't change it. But yeah, let me pull up my snap code thingy. So, I think that's how you do it. So you can scan. I think you could do that over live stream. Maybe? Potentially? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get this. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. 
I can do this. Give me a second. I can do this. We can do this. Gotta hold it like this. Bring the exposure down. And focus. Yep. Now's the time. Okay, if you haven't done it by now. Yeah. So, that was the thing. That was this live stream. I'm probably going to wrap this up now. Oh my gosh, that's really dark. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was. <laughs> that was weird. Um, there we go. But I'm going to go record the episode about me sharing the story about how I met Olin Rogers. And then I will catch you later. So... Thank you so really much, and I guess I will see you not this, yeah, this up, should I do weekly live streams? Let's try it, okay? Let's try it. Let's shoot for this, um, yeah, I know, Danielle, I know that's really cringy. Let's shoot for every weekly live streams. And also I've started to do my daily vlogs are back up and I just recorded one right before doing this and I realized afterwards that I had a setting turned out wrong and it's super distorted. But I, I fixed that. Don't worry. So tomorrow's going to be better. But I'm trying to be a lot more open and honest and just kind of, you know, out there. Like open. I want to be real with you. So I'm going to be releasing a lot more content. Basically is what I'm saying. Um, so I will catch you later. Thank you so much for sticking around for whatever reason through me just chatting about all of this stuff. And I'll see you next week. Good night and goodbye.